All right, in this video here, we're gonna be covering installing of the cable clamps and how to run your cables properly. This is just my way of running the cables. You guys can do your way. I'm just showing you guys the way I do it and why I do it this way. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the video here. A um, couple things you're gonna need, a couple pairs of cutters, you know, a big pair and a small pair, or just you know, a big pair would be fine or a small pair. I have two different sizes because I have two different types or two different sizes zip ties. A uh, ruler, you're gonna see why I use a ruler and a magic marker. And as well as our factory race pole clamps. As well as a 7 16 Craftsman Allen key. 764. 764, sorry. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll get into it. Um, we're gonna be starting back here. Our, all our cables are currently loose, they're just sitting there. Nothing, nothing zip tied up or anything yet. They're all, everything's sitting loose. So we're gonna go over where I start and why I start this way. Uh, we're gonna be starting out here in the back, running our cables. First thing I'm gonna do is grab our little zip tie, just to zip tie these two rear cables together. Let's move a little bit closer. Now these two rear cables, this black one right here you see is our throttle, and the silver one you see right here is the rear brake. I'm just gonna put a little zip tie on them, just to hold them together kind of keeps everything nice and clean. So you don't have to get super tight, just, you know, strap it around there, zip tie it up, go ahead and we'll cut it. Got our little pliers for that. So go ahead and cut that. Next, coming up right here, I'm gonna be installing the lar one large zip tie around that. You can actually probably even do it around right here. If you, got a, if you don't run a kickstand, you can even run it right through here, like so. I'm going to be running it around the frame right here. So go ahead, just a couple, couple little clicks on the zip tie. You don't have to get too crazy tight with it. Just shows a little bit of room for movement. This is just to keep your lines, you know, neat, clean, and out of the way, and basically just hold your hold your cables in place. So go ahead and we'll cut this. That guy. Now, um, our other cable is going to be for zip tying. Our other zip tie is going to be for attaching our cables right here. But we're not going to be doing that just yet. We're going to come up here, and we're going to be installing our two cable clamps. Now, if you guys are wondering here in the beginning of the video, I have this tape measure here. What's that for? I'll show you. Uh, if you're like me and a little meticulous on, you know, keeping everything centered and symmetrical and everything looking right. I get my tape measure out and I measure from this bottom clamp to the bottom part of the top clamp. And this will give me a measurement, roughly 14 inches on this particular setup. Now, what I do with that is I take that 14 number and divide it by three. Now for the sake of time, I've already done that and it's really hard to see here on the TED, but I've made the marks where the, you know, the center part is between the three. And the reason why I said divide by three because there's gonna be three sections between the two clamps. So you have the clamp here, clamp here, and that gives you basically our centered number, you know, our number that we're gonna to need to center everything nicely and keep everything real clean looking. Now, coming over here on the front of it, the way I run my cables is our, these are our two brake lines. We've got our front brake right there, our rear brake over there. Now, the way I run the cables is the two brake lines will be in front and our throttle cable will be in the rear, set up like that roughly. So let's go ahead, we'll get into that here, see where my mark is, looks to be right there. So these guys are pretty easy to run because you got room to move this around a little bit. With the throttle cable it's a little more difficult because it's got the sleeve over it with the kill switch wire running through it. So go ahead, got our clamp. If you look right here, the mark's right there, kind of hard to see still. Go ahead, if you look right here in the grooves, you have our holes right here where you can run our cables through. It's actually got another one so you can actually run four through there. I mean, you're not gonna have four cables, but I guess it gives you the option to either side to run it on. So anyways, I'm gonna run it, push it in right through there. Be careful not to pinch your kill switch wire too much. I mean, just work it the best you can with the room you have to work with. 
So we go ahead, we'll get that. It's kind of a two person job to run it in there, trying to hold your cables in place and putting your screws through there. So we'll go ahead, we'll get the first one started. We start into the clamp. Okay, we'll get our next one. Fist through here. Put that one in there. Let's go ahead and get that guy started. We'll flip it around if we can. Got it. Yep. So make sure we're on our mark now. So we're going to want to bring it up just a tad. So we got everything started, everything's still real loose. We're going to go ahead and tighten it up accordingly. You want to keep everything tight and evenly. If you look here on the cable clamps, there's going to be a little gap on each of them when they tighten down on there. So you want to make sure the gap is even on each side, which would probably be the best view will be to see it like that. If you look at the two gaps right here, so you want those gaps to be even as best you can. Okay, we'll come back over here. Maybe you can see a little better right here. I'm on the ground here and I'm not super tall and it's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to do it the best I can for you guys to see it. Bear with me. And obviously <laughs> you're gonna be doing this on the ground. Um, you know, more than likely not up, up in the air like this, so it's a lot easier to look down from the ped to see it. But I'm just doing this for the video and you're gonna wanna center your clamps up too, looking straight down, making sure everything's centered and your clamps aren't, you know, off to the side and looking all weird. So I'll probably have to tweak that a little bit after the video's over. But this is just to show you guys to help you out. So get that one started for the most part. I'll finish that up here once I get the ped down here on the ground. But it shows you guys how I do it. Same thing with this clamp right here. Go ahead and hold it up right there. Find our mark, which is right there. Get it lined up with our mark. Same thing with the throttle cable. Get our throttle cable works right in there. Okay, we got that. I got it. Go ahead and get this guy started now. Get that one started. Get the next one started. Make sure the clamp stays centered on each side of it. So you've you got a nice even gap on each side. And it looks like a real clean professional install as soon as you get done with your head. Go ahead, I'll call that pretty good right there, and I'll fine dial it in once I get the ped down here on the ground and everything and where I can see a little better. But coming back here to the last part of our install, we got our two cables here sitting here. Clean these back at that. Now I took and I cut this rear one a little bit too long. Here it needs to be a little bit shorter, but what I'm gonna do here for the, for the sake of the video, you know, so I'm not going to come back and cut it here in the video, but you can see it's a little bit too long. But we'll get our zip tie on our two cables right here. Now this is really important, is when you zip tie your throttle cable, this is, throttle cable is the most important, making sure you have that dialed in, is you want to make sure you have enough gap in here, make sure you didn't, make sure you have enough slack in here when you come down here, so when you turn your handlebars, your throttle isn't, your cable isn't pulling on your gas and causing your scooter, the engine to rev up. And the way you can tell that is after you start it up, just give your steering a tweak back and forth here and see if it idles up at all. You can also look back here. And you can also look back here and see if that's pulling it at all. So, all right. So we got our cable right there. If you look right here, our rear brake cable is a bit too long. It should be more flush along with 
the throttle here, so I'm gonna have to go back and modify that. But, I hope under the but deck. It, yeah, it's hitting under the deck. It's not a big deal if it is. If yours is like that, you can run it. If you're like me and you're weird and you're meticulous and you're just super OCD about everything, then you're gonna have to go back and cut it. So, anyways, that's basically your cable install. If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to send me a message, post up. Uh, I'll be happy to help. So if you look here, got our cables nice and cleanly ran through there. And you have, you know, your adjustment room with your two brakes. So you can kind of mess those a little bit. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.